Yo, good morning, good morning. Day three, no editing, just show up, take the camera out and say whatever God wants you to say. And I really feel like God is telling me, it doesn't matter how you feel, it doesn't matter what you think, just show up and trust God. Trust God and show up. Because you know why? He's living inside of you already. And since he already made the plan ahead of you, it's already inside of you. So the path is already there. So when you show up, you already have everything that you need inside of you to live a godly life, to live the path that you need, to live the path that God created you to live. So when we procrastinate, all we're saying to God is, God, I don't believe that you can do it and also god i don't believe that i can do it because i also don't think i'm qualified but guess what god doesn't call the qualified god calls the unqualified because he equips you if he anoints you that's all you need all you need is the anointing you don't need anything else all you need is the anointing of god and when god's anoints it and when god appoints it that's all you need He's, he's not going to do anything else. So if you're saying, oh, I'm too tired or, oh, I don't have enough, you know, resources or, oh, I don't have the, uh, the, the, the knowledge or anything like that. That's all a lie. In some cases, it may be true. Maybe you do need some, you know, some schooling or something like that. But all I'm saying is take the first step. If you don't take the first step today. Let me ask you this. If you're not taking a step today, why? And then when you ask yourself why, it's going to be rationalized. You're going to rationalize, right? Rational lies. They're all rationalized. Because you think that they are valid. But they're all lies. Right? To say you don't have enough time, that's a lie. When you want to do something, you will find a way to do it. Let's just be straight up here. And if you say, oh, I don't have enough, you know, time, energy, money, listen, you will find a way. If you want it bad enough, you will find a way to do it. No matter what you do, no matter like, guys, we have Google right now. We have, we have all this information at the tips at our, at our fingertips. It's like, what can't we do? Like we have no excuses now. We truly have no excuses. So anyways, I just wanted to share this and um, yeah, today's a good Sunday and I pray that, you know, if you're going to church or if you're just watching online, I pray that God gives you the Holy Spirit and I just pray that he gives you um, fire. I pray that he gives you more inspiration, more knowledge, more creativity in the name of Jesus. Anyone hearing this under the sound of my voice, I just pray that, they, that you give them Holy Spirit led revelation, Holy Spirit led creativity, Holy Spirit led um, just 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 living Father God, Holy Spirit led. You see, in the Old Testament, we needed to obey the law. But in the New Testament, we get to follow the Holy Spirit. And what I said, we get to. Right. We're not forced to. We get to. It's a privilege. If you have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, it is truly a privilege to follow the Holy Spirit. You know why? Because when you follow the Holy Spirit, that same spirit that rose Christ from the dead, that same spirit that created the universe lives inside of you. So what can't you do today? And there's no fear. Right. Because God did not give us a spirit of timidity. He did not give us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love and a sound mind. So if you have power, if you have love, and if you have a sound mind, in parentheses, self-discipline, self-control, you can do anything. There's nothing that you can't do. And the thing is, fear is the enemy's biggest tactic. It's the enemy's biggest purpose to rob your destiny to keep you paralyzed why are you paralyzed because you're stuck of thinking of what other people are going to think you're stuck and thinking of oh my gosh am i going to fail listen one of my favorite podcasters he said i'm not afraid to flop and i was like yo that is amazing yeah you know what 
if I flop, if I fall straight on my face, if I humiliate myself, then guess what? It's all for the glory of God. If God, is here's the thing. If God told you to do it, you obey and you leave all the consequences to him. You leave all the consequences to God. Because if God told you to do it, that means that's in your purpose, in your design, in your design of how to live. So you need to just show up, trust God, and guess what? You have to renew your mind every day to think that, God, I pray that this will be successful. But God, even if it's not, I'm still going to obey you. Because guess what? Like David, when he um, was dancing in front of the whole crowd in basically almost no clothes his wife was like you're humiliating yourself but but david was like i don't even care and that's the kind of mindset you have to have because guess what guys you're living an audience of one and i'm going to tell you straight up like this it doesn't matter what your parents think it doesn't matter what your family thinks it doesn't matter what your boss thinks it doesn't matter what the world thinks all that matters is what god thinks because he's just looking for that one person he's always searching for that one person to do what he's called them to do to love him how how we're designed to and one person can truly create a movement one person can truly create a movement look at the movements of mlk of gandhi you know um look at the bit these biggest you know evangelists like joyce meyer uh joel olstein all these people for their obedience millions of people have gotten saved millions of people have gotten inspired so guys, I don't want you to stay down today and be like, oh, ah, I'm scared, I'm fearful and this and that. Listen, you know what the best thing to do today is? Step out and find out. Step out, find out. Step out, find out. Do it afraid. Do it shaking. That's what you got to do. Listen, guys, sometimes when I go, when I preach on the train, I straight up just, I feel fear. But once I get up there, when the Holy Spirit starts shaking, hey, it's a wrap. It's <laughs> the whole. Once the Holy Spirit starts moving, it, there's there's no fear anymore, because I'm just like, listen, I don't care what you think of me anymore, because this is I'm not even speaking anymore. It's Jesus. So, all that to say, if Jesus told you to do it, if the Holy Spirit told telling you to do it, if you feel it's in your heart, maybe maybe you say, oh, I don't hear the Holy Spirit. But if it's something that's in your heart that you feel that you need to do, whether it's a dream, whether it's a vision, whether it's some sort of creation, because we're designed to create, we're, 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 we're designed and created in the image of our Father. And when we create, we are being like our Father in heaven because he is the ultimate creator. So we have that heritage. We have that nature of creation. So when we create, we are just like God. So whatever God wants you to create today, just start it. Don't worry about anyone, anyone, what anyone else. I'll tell you this right now. Listen, I've preached on the train. I've done so many crazy stuff. And, and it's just funny, even looking at like these leaders that, you know, whether that's pastors that failed morally or, you know, like Trump that, you know, uh, well, I'm not getting political, uh, but I'm just saying that when people fail publicly, they still come back. And that's the thing. People are scared of coming back. People are scared of falling and then never coming back. Actually, this was stops people. You probably already fell and you're probably living in that failure. But what if Michael Jordan stopped? when he had a bad game? What if Michael Jordan stopped when he missed a shot? He'd be like, oh, I'm never gonna shoot again. What if Kobe Bryant missed, you know, uh, did a shot and he was like, oh, I'm never gonna fail, I'm never gonna shoot again. No, guys, God wants us to shoot every single day and shoot multiple buckets, just shoot. You don't know what's gonna go in. You don't know what's gonna go in, guys. We got, we got one life. We got one life, guys. Just show, just trust God and show up that's all you have to do that's all you have to do and god's going to show you you know if you need if you need more revelation if you need more knowledge if you need if you need a book if you need you know some some type of network and just pray about it pray that he will bring you the right network pray that he will bring you the right person um i remember when i was you know when i was editing this, this book 
and how and i was going to do this editor um god was like no i don't want you to do this editor i don't want you to work with this editor because he was actually cheaper so i was like you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna use him and i remember i was on the phone with him and sometimes when i know it's not god's will like i get this really bad like pain on my arm and i'm just like and i just and i really feel like very uncomfortable and i'm just like dang i'm on the phone with this guy i'm like hey hey man listen i'm gonna give you a call back later and uh yeah so i gave so i, I hung up the phone and i kid you not that day um i was at work this 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 woman comes in and we start talking and uh i actually met her like three months before but i didn't know anything about her so she came in again and we start talking and i ended up finding out she is not just an a book editor but she is also a christian that also helped her mom with devotionals and what i'm writing is a devotional so ain't that god so that's what i'm trying to say is when you pray god makes the way hey god makes the way when you pray god makes the way when you pray and when you say because we just left the month of may but listen what do you say what do you mean what do you glean i'm gleaning on you jesus don't you know i'm doing this all for you don't you know that i'm doing this all for your glory don't you know that this is your story don't you know that this is all yours don't you know that i can't do anything without you so that means i can't be anything without you because i gotta be on the vine i gotta be on the prime i'm in the prime of my life i'm 33 i got that jesus year on my jersey i got that 33 scotty pippen but what you know about me i got the <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm on the holy spirit and i'm always sipping listen 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 you see you just take action you just take action today because i have no idea what i'm doing but i know that god knows god knows and god is in control you know why he's in control because he is in the know because he's the master of all knowledge wisdom and understanding Woo! but when you accept jesus you're in right standing all right guys bless up